I'm going to have mental asylum escapee patients working for me, bro. Like the, the kind of insane security guards that will not let you live if you try to rob my store. As she left, she tried to hold the door open as a gang of... Yeah, nah, see, she's a part of it, bro. Six masked men forced the door... Six? God damn, I thought it was three. ...door open to enter the building. Store... All right, listen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well, taking care of yourselves as always. And uh, bro, listen, I'm gonna keep giving y'all these back-to-back -back bangers and you guys just continue doing y'all, bro. I'm having so much fun making these videos. And uh, today we have a crazy one, bro. It says that this woman tried to set them up and get them robbed and harmed, but uh, <laughs> the guy defended his store. So with that being said, man, I don't have much to say besides if you're new here, make sure you sub up if you actually enjoy the video and let's press play on it, bro. Let's see. Open the door stays locked and customers are let in by a security guard. The estate's consignment store in Pleasant Hill has had so many attempted break-ins that they've installed 48 surveillance cameras. You need to install 48 armed guards, bro, not cameras. <laughs> hold on what does what the title say again okay it's a jewelry store yeah bro listen i'm gonna tell you all this right now right if i owned a jewelry store and i'm not talking about like a, a small one right like bro if you own a jewelry store with like 10 million worth of jewelry in there you don't understand the kind of security i'm gonna have on bro i'm gonna have specialized ex special forces demons bro i'm gonna have mental asylum escapee patients working for me bro like the, the kind of insane security guards that will Will not to let you live if you try to rob my store you know the cameras are cool or whatever bro but the cameras are not gonna stop this from happening you need to invest in 48 guards bro <laughs> last monday right at closing time there was only one customer in the store this woman in the striped dress who'd been speaking to someone on the phone as she left she tried to hold the door open as a gang of yeah nah see she's a part of it bro and this dumbass <sighs> You know, this is the kind of stuff that obviously you should always stay away from. Never involve yourself with these kinds of people. I'm talking about people that do dumb stuff, bro. Because look, this girl right here, if what I know is correct, she is going to get charged the exact same thing as one of them. If like, for example, you see how there's uh, looks like three of them so far walking in there and, you know, trying to rob the store. Let's say it goes bad, bro. And by the way, I haven't pre-watched this. I don't know. But let's say it goes bad, bro. Let's say one of them kills the owner or the workers. Let's say something happens and somebody loses their life. Guess who's going to be complicit, bro? Guess who's going to get the exact same heft of the charges as, as them? This girl right here, even though she doesn't have a gun she didn't pull the trigger she didn't do anything besides call them and open the door for it she is still complicit in this crime especially if they can pin her with communicating with these three uh you know goons bro like she's gonna get the exact same charge like a dumbass and that's what she deserves bro six masked men forced the door six god damn i thought it was three door open to enter the building store manager albert macro heard the commotion up front <laughs> when i look i already knew something will happen and they are coming toward the jewelry cases uh, which is in the back luckily with the sledgehammers in the video the robbers advance on the jewelry dummies, cases but macro pulls dummies. out a gun aiming yep, it yep. at the assailants they came right here to this area yo he could have he really could have shot him right there and he just didn't want to he just pulled it out to intimidate him look 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 in the video yeah you don't see any like debris or smoke coming out of the gun he didn't shoot a single shot he just scared him off the robbers advance on the jewelry cases but macro pulls out a gun aiming it at the assailants they came right here to this area and when they got here i let them know i have a gun you know uh, to be carefully and then they dropped the sledgehammers they got scared and they run out outside the robbers scramble Dummies, madly bro. out the door and and look look i mean obviously we can't see their faces or anything but like they look like they're young i mean obviously you wouldn't do this if you're pushing 30 40 unless you're an actual mentally ill retard but um you never know bro people get desperate but my point is it seems like these six are young bro and all the police have to do in this situation is just implicate or catch one of them bro that is all they have to do if and that's the thing about crime bro and 
you know, I don't pretend it to be the person that like should tell you what's right or wrong. Like I know all, bro. I don't pretend to be that. All I know is some people are desperate, right? But here's my point. You don't, bro, even if you commit crime, right? Let's say that you you need money bad and obviously I don't condone theft, but you want to steal something. Don't do it with people, bro. Do not do it with people because first of all, you are going to share the sin with them and also you're going to share the time with them because if they catch the other person, they're going to tell on you, bro. There's no such thing as loyalty in crime. The kind of people that do crime are not loyal people, bro. They're not people that are going to hold you down. No, they're going to snitch on you to save themselves. So my point is when it's more than one person, when it's more than two, the other people, all they have to do is just catch one of them and force them to snitch, bro. You know, if they catch one of them, they're like, yo, we're going to charge you with this, 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 and this. You're facing life. Who's not going to tell, bro? Who's not going to sit there and start pointing fingers at all his friends? Everybody will, right? Unless, I I mean, anyways, like my, my point is bro people that are loyal are not gonna sit there and do dumb stuff like this with you bro but anyways tumbled madly out the door piling into two waiting cars as a police cruiser arrives on scene literally following the two vehicles out of the lot bro and that's another so that's not even six that's six plus the girl that's seven plus the two getaway drivers eight and nine bro nine people that is this is the easiest mission of all time for these police officers all they have to do is find one of the nine bro one i promise y'all they definitely caught one of them, bro, either through the license plate, either through the shovel that they left behind with their fingerprints on it, something. They they don't have to catch all nine, bro. It's just one. And that one will turn into six, nine real quick. Salespeople in the front, they start screaming and yelling and we were scared. One of them was Mary Lou Rodriguez, who is still traumatized by the event. Yeah, I just kept praying before I come to work. You pray before you come no. to work? Uh-huh. Do you really? Yeah, not nothing happened, you know, again. It's not going to happen again. It's been a week now, but Macru says he has no idea if the suspects were even arrested. The police won't say, but he doubts anything Bro, will happen to them if they were. He's heard from plenty what? of his fellow business owners who have been robbed on a daily basis. In fact, a van that was used to crash into a coal store on Thanksgiving belonged to Macru and had been stolen from his parking lot. Bro, there is no way. Yo, let me know in the comments, bro. There is no way this kind of operation doesn't get busted, bro. Hold on. I'm getting a call. All right, my bad. I had a call, bro. But look, let me know in the comments. There is no way this kind of operation doesn't get busted and one of them doesn't get caught, bro. Unless this is in like LA or San Francisco or one of those areas over there. I don't know what you guys have going on over there, but y'all, bro, it's like they encourage people to steal i i saw like videos of people just literally robbing like the pharmacy bro like robbing all the goddamn medicine and the workers just stand there watching them they leave the police come look at the stuff and then leave they don't do nothing about it i don't know what it is with the cities on the west coast but it probably is over there um besides that like i just don't see how this kind of operation doesn't get doesn't get busted unless the police don't want to pursue it bro this is like the easiest thing ever nine people get one of them you just look around you why do all those things happen you know, they don't get punished, you know, you know, they go out and they commit crimes again. You got to punish them yourself, bro. You got to punish them yourself. That's why I said you got to invest. Listen, don't get yourself a normal security guards. No, 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 no. Listen, go find yourself ex maximum prison people, bro. Find yourself ex mental asylum people like those deranged sick psychopaths that are now changed, if that makes sense. Like, you know how, you know, somebody hacks and they get caught hacking like the FBI or something and then they turn to work for the FBI. Find you one of those people, but with, with mental illness, bro, like somebody that will lose their <laughs> somebody that would lose their mind um and defend your store like really defend it bro get yourself armed guards with ar-15s but like i said this might be in one of those areas where it's like in cali or something and cali just d- doesn't like people defending themselves so I, I don't know uh but regardless bro you got to do something about it yourself when the police can't help you out when the police don't stop this from happening you got to take action my boy it is up to you either move your store to one of the states that encourages self-defense or figure out a solution bro get yourself i don't know p- pit bulls and feed them coke or something i'm obviously joking by the way but like figure out a solution bro to scare off these people and get them hurt if they ever try this again you know and people lives are at stake we work so hard everybody works a lot of people work very hard and and in a minute you can lose everything and not just me you know the people who work here
a lot of people are unemployed for because yeah listen bro and that's the end of it listen bro i'm gonna tell y'all this right now bro if i had a jewelry store that had over 10 million dollars worth of jewelry in it and i was dealing with 40 plus robberies bro i promise y'all i am going to get creative i'm gonna get myself a bro i'm gonna get myself two lions literally two full-grown male lions i don't care if i live in cali oh this is in france san francisco okay that makes a lot of sense bro san francisco is like hell on goddamn earth they they said you get punched in the face and then you get stabbed and shot and if you spit on the person that did that to you, you go to jail for some reason, bro. I'm obviously like exaggerating, but that's just what it seems like when I hear stuff from San Francisco and LA devil spawns. But let's put that to the side, bro. Look, I promise y'all, I would get creative. I would get full grown lions, bro, straight from Africa or or, or a whole goddamn elephant and, and put it in front of my store. Obviously, that's going to scare my customers, but my customers wouldn't be random people. They would be people that are willing to spend money to buy jewelry, right? So it wouldn't even matter. But I would get myself some kind of solution because I'm not letting this happen to me if the police aren't gonna protect my goddamn business bro what i'm gonna put c4s at the door bro you try to rob me okay sure grab this gra grab the jewelry bro leave the store i'm a mm, not gonna say that but <laughs> let me know what y'all think about that bro seriously um yeah when the police don't protect you and don't protect your business you got to take action for yourself man and uh and yeah that's pretty much it i think i have a few other clips but i'm gonna save these for another video bro i enjoy this one let me know what y'all think about it and let me know what you would do if you were in this man's position bro where the police aren't putting in any effort to catch these people that continuously rob you bro how are you supposed to react man what are you supposed to do besides what he's already done you know he's uh, he's gotten the 40 cameras the guards all all that let me know in the comments and take care of yourselves i'll see you on the next one man peace out